Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the journal of ourselves, the redeemed Christian Church of God. This commentary intends to bring insights to God's word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Thursday, the 24th day of October 2024, and our topic for today says, Take a break. Please let us pray. Our faithful Father, we give you thanks, we worship you, the one who has been keeping us, our provider, our protector, our helper, our source which never runs dry. Father, we are grateful for all your kindness towards us. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for sound health. Thank you for sound mind. Thank you for the ability to be before you again. Father, we are grateful. We say take all the glory, take all the honor, receive our thanks in Jesus' name. As we come before you again today, Lord, we are hungry and thirsty for you. We ask that you would fill us, Lord, with your word. Cause our minds also to be fruitful. Help us not to be unfruitful hearers only, but to be hearers and doers of your word. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Psalm 23 verse 2. Psalm 23 verse 2 reads, He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Psalm 23 verse 2. Our text for today is from the book of Genesis chapter 2. We'll be reading from verse 2 to 3. Genesis chapter 2 reading from verse 2 to 3 reads, And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Genesis chapter 2 from verse 2 to 3. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Our topic for today once more says, take a break. And in the body of today's devotional, our Father and the Lord says to us that God rested on the seventh day of the creation week to set an example for us. He said in Exodus chapter 23 verse 10 to 11 that even the land should be cultivated for six years and then be made to rest in the seventh year. We all need to take a break every now and then so that we can be refreshed enough to be effective at what he has called us to do. Many people break down because they hardly take breaks. Some people have been working for years without taking any vacation. What they don't understand is that taking time to rest will help them to be more effective when they resume their work. In 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 1 to 8, Elijah had just called down fire from heaven and brought revival to the land. Then he heard that Jezebel wanted to kill him and ran for his life. By the time he got to the juniper tree, he was tired and in that state he asked God to kill him. God knew that he really didn't want to die. He just needed to take a break. He made him fall asleep and sent an angel to feed him twice. After resting and eating well, he was strengthened to continue for the next 40 days. Sometimes, the reason you feel frustrated is that you have not taken a break in a while. Just try sleeping and eating for only one day and you will see the difference. Taking a break is not expensive. If you don't have money to travel or check into a hotel, you can go to a family member's house or a quiet place where you know that no one will disturb you and just rest there. You need to rest weekly and yearly also, especially after a strenuous period of work, as Elijah did in 1 Kings chapter 18. No matter how anointed you are, as long as you are still in the flesh, you need to take a break once in a while. The only reason I have been able to host the Holy Ghost service every month for almost 40 years is that I take breaks when necessary. After every major program that lasts for at least one week, I take a break and get some good rest. Don't wait for a doctor to put you on bed rest because by then 
it will be more expensive and you will have no choice but to rest for a longer time than you want to. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once again, our topic for today says, take a break. Because of the situations that so many people find themselves in today, many are trying to do so many things to make ends meet. Many are even stretching themselves and stretching their bodies to the limit. While it is good to work hard, it is important to also understand that for us to be more effective and to achieve even greater results, we need good rest. Resting is not carnality. You are not unspiritual when you have good sleep. It is not laziness when you take a break sometimes to rest. It is quite sad that in today's world, one of the realities that we see is the terrible health conditions that some people develop which sometimes could be traced to the habit of not getting enough rest. In today's study, our Father and the Lord tells us that many people break down because they hardly take breaks. We often say that you cannot cheat nature, and as casual as that sounds, it is often true. In today's study, our Father and the Lord tells us that if you don't rest, you may have to be put by a doctor on bed rest, and that may even be more expensive and more uncomfortable for you. If you don't give your body a break, it will demand for it by itself. And oftentimes it may not do this in a very nice way. It may even do it in an unexpected way. The body may request for that rest when you least expect it and when you are least prepared. For our ministers and our men of God, it is good to be passionate about God's work. Do not forget that as much as God has a purpose and a plan for your life, you also need to be in good health for you to fulfill that purpose and plan. The body he has given to you is the only legal access that you have to remain here on earth. If it is not properly cared for and you do not give it proper rest, you would be risking the ability to fulfill the assignment he has given to you. When you continue to work without rest, the law of diminishing returns then sets in where it would be noticeable that the benefits derived, despite the investment of time and other factors, would be on the decline. You would no longer get as much results as you used to get at the beginning. That is why our Father and the Lord tells us in today's study that what many people do not understand is that taking time to rest will help you to be more effective when you resume work. In other words, accumulated stress could also lead to reduced productivity. In today's study, our Father and the Lord tells us ways in which we can give our body rest. He tells us, for example, that we don't necessarily have to spend too much money. You could just give yourself some time off work, or you find some very good time to rest. It is possible you have a very tight schedule, but prioritizing rest would also make you more effective. In today's study, our Father and the Lord tells us categorically that no matter how anointed you are, as long as you are still in the flesh, you need to take a break once in a while. Hallelujah. So we see that anointing does not cover for the rest that your body needs. Your body deserves some good rest when it is stressed. Give it that rest so that you could achieve even more. The sad but true reality of things is that for many things which people stress themselves over, if they are to be gone, those things would still exist somehow those things would be done. So ensure never to risk yourself, risk your life, risk your health, and deny yourself rest over work. There is time for everything, a time to work diligently and to work hard, and a time to rest well too. Ensure to always sleep well, and if you are not fasting, eat well. Remember that to avoid breaking down, you have to take a break. I would like us at this point to bow our heads and begin to ask the Lord today, say, Father, please grant unto us the grace to know when to take breaks in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today for the wisdom to take breaks when necessary, the wisdom to give to ourselves good rest when we need it. There is no doubt that some people are being stressed even outside of their own will, and they wish if only things were better, they could get more rest. Can we ask the Lord today for his blessings that comes with ease, his blessings that make it rich, adding no sorrow. Let that be our portion and the portion of his people in the name of Jesus. Begin to bless the name of the Lord for answers to prayers. Thank him for granting unto us ease. 
Scripture says he gives to his beloved sleep. Thank him for granting unto us rest on all sides. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. King of glory, we thank you for your word to us today. We are asking that the grace to take heed to these instructions you grant unto us. Help us, Lord, to know when to walk and when to rest. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in today's study that tells us, God did not create your body to walk non-stop. Take a break every now and then. We receive the grace today to rest and to remain in good health, fulfilling God's plans and purposes for our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Luke chapter 9 down to chapter 10. We are also thankful and we appreciate you for joining us today. God bless you greatly. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 29 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing, When peace like a river attended my way. As you go forth today, enjoy the peace of the Lord like a river. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. We love you greatly. God bless you and bye for now. When peace like a river attended my way When sorrows like sea billows roll
I believe today's devotional blessed you. We are always glad to hear from you. So leave us a comment. Let us know how this has blessed you. Also remember to follow us on all our social media handles to get more like this. You can share this with someone to bless them too. We gladly look forward to seeing you tomorrow again. Have a fulfilling day ahead. God bless you.